G'day mate and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included with me, G. In our last episode, we spent a good amount of time working on a singular project being, well, the steam room. The steam room, the steam turbine, the, the steam generation room, whatever you want to call it, because it's going to be incredibly, incredibly important. It's going to be used to, uh, well, convert a whole lot of uh, waste heat into a whole lot of steam, into a whole lot of free power. And I like free power. Uh, also, we're going to need it to cool the base because that's sort of important because we are suffering a slow heat death of, well, the base. The base, everything's getting a little bit hot, which is bad because the plants are all going uh, to die. The other thing we did last episode is we managed to set up oil, uh, which now means we're playing, making plastic, which is going to be good and very important because we're going to need that for those steam turbines to convert that steam into power. The third thing we managed to do last episode was we went and dug in a whole biome. We found a, a, a vent which is actually helpful. So we're gonna put that vent to good use. Uh, the last thing we're gonna be doing in today's episode is we probably need to work out the hatcheries. The hatcheries are doing fine, but um, they're a little bit full. They're a little bit full, so we need to do something about probably expanding them. Uh, but the majority of today's episode is gonna be working on this, just the one project we need to get this uh, ironed out, finalized, built, set up everything everything needs to be done when it comes to our steam turbine room because it's going to be so critically important but with that out of the way let's go see what the teleporter has to offer uh the printing board today has us uh, uh 400 kilograms worth of pure copper which i will happily have uh first thing we're going to do is we're going to pop over here and look at our brand new vent it is a polluted water vent which is going to pump out polluted water at 30 degrees Celsius. Yes, please, and even analyze it. The good news is we already have a pump down here, so that should just pump out uh, automatically. We have put in a couple of deodorizers and some more power, so hopefully, well, the small amount of uh, slime lung we have in here gets cleaned up. We do have 23 now, sick dupes, uh, between hypothermia, slime lung, hypothermia, slime lung, allergic reactions, and so on and so forth. They're not doing well, but that's okay, because we have plenty of dupes. Uh, I do want to mention very, very quickly that the Paku farm, um, there were four Pakus in here. There's now three because, well, and um, yeah, you're still set to one. Uh, because, well, they were domesticating. Uh, can I? So you ate from a feeder. Uh, so your wilderness is going down, but it's not going down as fast as it should. Uh, most of these guys should be tamed by now, but they're not. And I had seeds in there. But it seems like the game has done a change where previously if you had a fish feeder, as soon as a fish ate, it'd be full and ready to go again. And now it looks like they only run once per day, which is a change to the game dynamics that I didn't know about. And in saying that, Oxygen Included has been a bit of a nightmare with the devs doing changes that make sense sometimes, but it's not in a change log, so you have no idea. So something that worked perfectly fine suddenly doesn't work. Uh, I've also removed, whilst we're in here, I've removed the two pneumatic doors that were doing nothing, and we're just going to remove those walls because now we can. Uh, hatcheries. Hatcheries. Nope. Uh, before we get to the hatcheries. Crap. Uh, well, there's a puff there that I need to get rid of. A sage hatch that I need to get rid of. A sage hatch I need to get rid of. A sage hatch I need to get rid of. A puff I need to get rid of. And another puff I need to get rid of. And that's it. Uh, we just need to do a quick clean up in here and uh, remove some of the excess critters. The other thing I did need to do is I need to go into the schedule. And um, I've noticed a problem with the duplicates uh, sleeping here, there, and everywhere because they're exhausted. I think we're having a problem that they're not eating every day. Uh, also think we have a problem with they're not actually getting to sleep uh, at bedtime. Hence, we have dupes just collapsing everywhere. So I'm going to give them an extra downtime slot each, which is painful because there is 24 slots because there's 24 hours in the day. So there's 24 schedules. Uh, everybody gets an extra downtime slot. Yes. Okay. So that should fix that problem. Hopefully somebody picks up the meat before that happens. Okay. Hatches. Uh, I have a stone hatchery. Stone hatchery is full. I have a normal hatchery. It's not quite full and it does take hatchlings. I have another hatchery that takes hatchlings as well and a third one that's almost full. Oh, what I want to do is want to come in here and I want to add another couple of hatcheries. We're going to deconstruct that nice and high priority. And I want to put a door here, here, here. Oh, nope. Uh, here and here. And then I want to deconstruct buildings only. I want to remove that and I want to remove that. And see, this is what I'm talking about. Brad just curls up on the floor. Exhausted. Uh, I want to... 
I need to make sure that tile's not built. I want to expand this out and make this into a new hatchery. That needs a roof. Uh, you need to go away, unfortunately. And I need to put a mesh tile here and a mesh tile here so you can continue to uh, leak your water right through the hatchery. That's fine. Uh, also want to deconstruct buildings. I want to get rid of every one of those ladders plus every one of those ladders. And I need a tile in there. With that done, hatchery should be ready to go, which means I need to have a grooming station here and here. I also need a critter feeder here and here. I'll also need a critter drop off in the next tile. And then I need that door there, there with the tile above. Nope, that, that missed the tile. Full times of charm. Okay, that goes there, that goes there. I also need to have an auto sweeper in that tile and that tile. And I need a conveyor loader out of, let's go with gold, rotated there and dupes. Construction. Eight. Get the deconstruction done as well. It's sort of important. Okay. Uh, room overlay. You uh, too many tiles because that hasn't been built. Of course it's been built. It is set to priority eight, so it's just a matter of time. Okay. Uh, that's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. Uh, I can put that in there finally. I can put that in there and there. I can put you in there. I can put the door in there. I can put the critter drop off in there. And plumbing, I can remove that plumbing pipe and also those plumbing pipes. Yes, I may have preloaded in the cooling loops. Uh, also want to dig out that area and I can now copy that critter drop. No, I can't copy. It's not done yet. Okay, power. I can run the power line from there into there and also into there. I can grab a conveyor rail. Let's go with gold, because I have slightly more gold than anything else. And we're going to run this through the floor, because if the egg sits in another room, even if it is on a conveyor rail, it can push the room over its capacity. So we run this through the floor wherever possible. Actually, actually, we can run it through the floor there, because I'm expanding to that room anyway. Uh, okay, so that should do that, uh, means you are a room, are you not? 97 tiles. Why are you 97 tiles? Because I didn't put in the extra block there and the extra block there. With the extra blocks in, you're now set, ready to go. Uh, I'm going to copy that there for stone hatches. I'm going to copy that there for stone hatches. I'm going to leave this one available for now because I don't need it yet. Um, but I want to have somewhere for the stone hatch things to go because, well, there's none running around yet, but there's a bound to be sooner or later. Okay, uh, so that should set up another hatchery. The other thing I need to do is we need to do a sweep, uh, 49, everything between there and there. I want that stuff swept up. Uh, we have these are set to priority one, which means rather than dupe being idle, in theory they should sweep. Uh, but the only way I actually get them to sweep stuff up is max priority on it, and then they'll do exactly that. And there's something there. Oh, Blue of Water has nowhere to be swept. That's fine. All right, so that fixes that project as well. One more project is our oil refinery. I want to add a tiny bit of automation wire between A and B. And what I want to do is, uh, if you're... Pause the game so I can type, because otherwise every time they build something, it removes your cursor from the window that you're trying to type in. Uh, if the tank has 80% full of petroleum, we're going to send a red signal to say stop making petroleum. Once we get down to 20%, then we'll send a green signal to turn the petroleum back on. The other thing I need to do is I need to work out how we're going to get materials out of here. We're going to get materials out of here with... Uh, grab inside of tiles, go there, go there, go there. And I need to drag this up to here with a bridge in here. We're going to need that shortly. Okay, uh, no research selected. Can I grab... Uh, there's nothing I really want, so we're just going to start at the top and work our way down. All right, that brings me on to this problem. This problem, uh, first thing we're going to do, deconstruct nice and high priority, is remove everything in here. I've made a vacuum. Cancel deconstruct. Made a vacuum. That was important. I, I want a vacuum to work in. I also want to open that door. 
Uh, the other thing you may notice is everything sort of slid to the right one tile and also slid down one tile and also it's slid down a second tile because I made this four tiles tall because I want an extra space. Uh, gonna need extra space and because we have a vacuum in theory once I fill this with water, we should be good to just go. Should. Should. And it should just convert to steam rather than me having multiple weird liquids I need to deal with. In case I have a weird liquid, we're gonna put one of those there. We'll see. Uh, can we get in here and deconstruct, please? All right. I've also put in a heavy watt conductive join plate wire thingy-majiggy bob in here because, well, I'm going to need to bring in power in here. And I want to bring in heavy gauge wire because I'm going to want some serious power. I also need to put a second one in here and join the two together, which we're going to join with heavy watt conductive wire. Add a lead works for me. Connect those two together. And the other thing I need to add is we now have access to mini gas pumps. And I'm going to dump you right. Ventilation, mini gas pump. Uh, rotate you around there. And gas vent there. And gas by A to B. I want to uh, put in a mini gas pump because I need to keep create a perfect vacuum in here. And we may also notice that the room that was a perfect vacuum now has natural gas in it because one of the dupes is a farter. There's always one. Uh, can I turn you on for... Polluted water, it turns out. Uh, Pro 9. Sweep only. Uh, sweep. Pro 9. Thanks, dupes. Why are you overflowing with oil? You shouldn't be overflowing with oil. Oh. Okay. All right. Uh, can I get a priority nine on that as well? Because uh, there's only one or two dupes that can build that, so let's get them in there. Now, I want to set up refineries, which are going to look something like this, but we're going to get them done a little bit later. But what I need to do right now is... Refinement? No, not refinement. Utilities. I want to set up a thermal aqua tuner, which is going to go in that tile i hope uh from that tile i need to have a liquid bridge uh there it's been a long time uh i think that's right and instead of tiles uh instead of pipe rather is gonna come well there to there uh out of there end of there all right, and that needs automation. It needs a thermo sensor. Uh, actually, it's probably in here. It is liquid thermo sensor with an automation wire from A to B. Okay, that is some messy stuff. Can I sweep that and sweep that and sweep that? Yeah, stop spewing out bleach stone, please. All right, so thermo tuna. Thermo tuna is going to, well, uh, what it does is the water that goes in gets rapidly cooled. The catch is all the heat that's produced by cooling the water gets dumped in the surrounding atmosphere, which is fine by us, because that's sort of what we want, because I want to make steam in this room. But I also need to, well, make sure that the water and the steam gets mixed around real good, which means we're going to go into utilities. Utilities. I'm going to put in temp shift plates. Now, temp shift plates come in many, many different varieties, and we're going to look at some basics. I'd love to use refined metal. In fact, we'll put one down. Uh, we'll throw one out of sandstone. I'm not using coal. I'm not using dirt. I'm not using lead or iron. Uh, what do we have? Igneous rock, sure. Granite, sure. Sedimentary rock, why not? Uh, obsidian down here. Uh, I'm not using clay. I'm not using wolframite. I'm not using plastic. And I'm not using mafic rock, I don't think. But I'd love to make it out of... Well, this is copper ore. Copper ore. Uh, if we look at the properties, it has a thermal conductivity of 4.5. If I look at copper, copper, that has a thermal conductivity of 60. Way better. Way better. I'd love to use copper but I don't have enough copper. Each one of these plates costs 800 kilograms worth of material. I just don't have enough. Uh, sandstone is 2.9. Uh, igneous rock is two. Uh, granite is 3.39. Sedimentary rock is two. Mafic rock is one. Obsidian is two. Turns out we're gonna be using a whole lot of granite and I am going to know full well that I need to replace these in the future. Uh, we're gonna set this slightly lower priority because uh, these take a long time to build and I want a lot of them. 
Uh, the idea of these is they're going to spread around the heat. That's their main objective in life. And I also need to put one there. There. There as well. Um, they're going to spread around the heat. That's, that's really their only objective, to spread around the heat as much as possible. Uh, next thing I need to do is... <clears throat> my aqua tuna is going to need, obviously, its plumbing plugged in. Uh, we're going to bring this pipe in, this pipe out. Nice and simple, not too complicated. I do need to put a steam turbine directly above it to delete its heat, so to speak. And you're going to go right there. And you are going to have a pipe come in here. Uh, to there. Which where they're going to jump a liquid bridge over the top and put a liquid vent right there. And I'm literally going to drop the cooler water on top of the aqua tuna. Because the aqua tuna is going to be a hot boy. Uh, I also need to deconstruct all those pipes. Not that pipe. We're going to leave that pipe for the moment. And I want to... I never cut this. I need to cut that because I want to drain this tank. Uh, can I dig that down a tile? Can I dig that all the way across as well? Because uh, I want more room. All right. So, Aqua Tuna. Aqua Tuna is going to be step number one. Uh, it's also going to need power wires. I'd love to put in the conductive wire, but I can't afford it. So, we're going to put in ship wire for... Oh, boy, can I not afford it. Okay, we might need to go delete another biome. Uh, four tiles. Seven tiles. Seven tiles. Okay, can I put that through there? Uh, through to here. Uh, can I put that through... That's the tile, right? That's six. Uh, that's seven. Uh, that through there. Whoop. Wrong one. That through there to there, and over to there, and four tiles. That through there. Uh, can I build that there, that there, and that there? Cancel that. Uh, build that through there. Put in a safety ladder from top to bottom, and dig that down the three tiles just in case. And then say the dupes, I would like this whole biome and the metal that's in it gone. Uh, I don't want to dig up that plant, or do I want to dig up that plant, that plant, or that plant? I also want to dig out this section. There. Uh, put that down on the pile. Cancel that. I don't want to dig out that plant. <clears throat> These ones I don't mind, because they are pretty plants, and you're ready for harvest. And no, he's here to harvest it. Uh, probably eight. And if you're very curious about how to do this, you... Bring out Harvest Tool, you press Alt-S to enter screenshot mode. Removes the UI. Also lets you zoom as large as you want. Really wish more games did this. Like, I really like screenshot modes where I can just manipulate the camera in any way I want. I don't care if it clips through the floor. If that's what's required for me to make a thumbnail, let me do it. Uh, and we're just going to demolish that whole biome. We're also going to, at the same time, uh, demolish this biome from the looks of it. Uh, I feel like you're a tile too tall. Mm, no. Okay, you're a tile too high. Mm, okay, and I want to demolish three to there. You're going to need a safety ladder as well. And I want to demolish... So that's ice, that's granite. No, that's fine. So we can demolish everything between there and three tiles down. There. Except I do not want to punch a that let mr fishy out and i actually have no issue with you dumping all this liquid together that can go uh that can go that can go and the plant can go too i can dig that down two tiles maybe not three and maybe just one maybe just one and you are all pretty all Let's go with six all around. Yep. Except duties, 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 uh, eight. Okay, uh, we can also submit a bias game there. Uh, did I, I didn't never demolish this room. Uh, can I also, whilst we're just here, we're thinking about it, can I demolish those two? Uh, inspect, thank you, demolish, inspect, Demolish. I'm sure I've set inspected these before. Smith Bioscan. I can't demolish that. Um, 
I can demolish the light bulb. Great. And I actually can demolish the clock as well. Which is made out of neutronium. So I get no resources out of it whatsoever. But we can get the glass at least. Alright. So. This is going to be my thermal aqua tuner. Now my thermal aqua tuner I need to tap into. Well a coal. A cool. A cool. A liquid loop. That I need to pass around and through the base. Luckily we have one half built. Uh, unluckily. Uh, it's half built. Um, that slime, which we have nowhere to store. You're half full already. Perfect. Uh, also, there's no liquid in here to actually cool this down. Speaking of liquid, next thing I need to do is we're going to take uh, that and disconnect that from there. And I'm going to run all my clean water into here and dump this into this room to start with. Because I need to put several hundred kilos worth of liquid in this room. Alright, next thing I need to do is I need to get another th uh, another steam engine, okay? We need to put our output from there into... I forgot to do that. It's fine. Put that in there and disconnect that and that. that we'll come back to that problem. We're going to need two aqua tuners. Fine, we'll get there. All right. Uh, plumbing. Can I put in a liquid bridge uh, there and then bring this down to here and drop it on the floor? All right. I need to have a steam engine, which will make steam, outputs water that's been cooled significantly as uh, we've made power and dump it back in the room. That's important. The other thing I need to do is I need to put uh, my metal refineries, which we've used previously over here, which, well had water go in dumps the heat into the water and then that water then goes out at a hotter temperature so it comes in at 32 goes out at like 39 depending on what we're smelting and then in previously we've been dumping the water tank what i want to do now is well i want to heat the water well i want to use the thermal transfer liquid that i have there heat the water in this room create steam and then dump the, or cool down the, the thermal liquid that we're using for the refineries and make free power, basically. But that means I need to get pipes from this up to here. So we're going to go with plumbing. We're going to go with radiant pipes. I am going to put you here and hope that's all right. Uh, we're going to put you there. We're going to put you there. And I need to deconstruct that. Uh, actually, want to do it come back to that actually all right uh what i want to do is uh this is one two three tiles wide plus storage makes it four tiles wide so uh i have four tiles to play with on top of that these guys are actually five tiles wide so i want to use the smartest method possible to fill in as many tiles in here over a four tile gap that's one tile short uh can i no 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 uh, that's the best I'm going to get. Let's make it five tiles wide. Can I make it five tiles wide? Is there a reason I'd fit in less of them? That's the only reasoning. All right, we're going to run you like that. We need to then to use um, the insulated pipes to run the liquid back into these guys i also want to use the pipes a bit of a storage buffer so we're going to zigzag our way down to there there and you can go like that roughly sure and then i can put you there now if we bring up a plumbing overlay that lines up everything looks good and then i want two storage bins i want a storage bin there and i want a storage bin here potentially Although I think the first one we're going to build backwards. So I'm going to put the storage on the left. Uh, yes. Cancel. Put storage on left. And the idea of the first one, it's probably going to do, I don't know, copper, gold, one of the two. I think we'll do iron. All right. Uh, can we, no, can I get a deconstruct? Can I get buildings deconstruct? And let's remove all of that. And actually we might remove our ghosts to start with just so we can plan this out yeah plan this out uh can i remove you just on the off chance okay because there's a couple of things we need to refine uh we need to refine copper and gold that we've been doing already uh, already plus iron there's also uh iron steel now steel is very powerful very very powerful very very handy very very powerful 
I would like to get steel up and running. Can I get construction tasks? That's a pretty full. That explains so much. Uh, not full. Seven. All right, suffocating. Mm, possibly. There's oxygen down there. Why are you standing there then? Can you not move your butt over here, please? Slow down the game. Just slow down the game a little bit. That way the dupes have more time to calculate movements uh, because they already have lag problems with the game. A fair bit of lag problems with the game. All right, uh, back to this problem. Okay, so one of the things I do want to refine is I do want to refine steel. Now, steel requires I have iron, so I want to probably smelt iron right beside the steel. Also need to have limestone. Limestone comes from refinement. It comes from the rock crusher. So I'm thinking if I put a rock crusher here, can I move that one side to the left? I can move that one side to the left. Okay, we're going to build the ladder there instead. We're gonna deconstruct buildings that. Uh, we're dumping liquid in here. This is full of oil, so that'll stop the water spilling out. Meanwhile, water's gonna flow in hopefully reasonably quickly. Okay, uh, can I, priority seven. Can I get a construction, please, seven? Thank you, all right. Uh, I want to put in the rock pressure. I want to go check on the portal. Uh, portal says I'll have a poke shell spawn, which will be okay until it gets old enough to lay an egg, and then it'll get very, very grumpy. Uh, can we just do the gas grill? Uh, okay. I need that to go, well, it is already set to go away. All right, refinement. Can I get... The it's not under refinement. It's under what it was. It's not okay. Uh, utilities, refinement, rock pressure is there. All right, can I put the rock pressure there? The rock pressure is going to need a storage. Uh, it's going to need two storages technically, uh, or one storage. Well, let's assume we're going to use two. All right, uh, I want to put in a auto sweeper in that, that tile. You need to move over. Uh, actually, maybe you don't. All right, I want a rock crusher. That much I'm sure. Which tile it goes in exactly, I'm not sure. I want you to be able to store steel. Uh, the steel needs to be able to swept by an auto sweeper which I can put right there for argument's sake. Uh, actually, I can put it, no, right there. Uh, I also want to have iron, iron, smelted iron, uh, which we need to do another one of these right beside. So I'm gonna put you there. I'm going to grab my airflow tile, please, and put that there with the intention of putting iron here with its own auto sweeper, like so. Grab iron ore, smelt it into iron, be able to put the iron up here, which this auto sweeper can grab, shove into the machine, we and then output the steel into this box. So that means that I definitely need that storage, I definitely need that, I definitely need the auto sweeper here, because uh, the rock pressure is gonna make lime, which is one of the ingredients for steel. One of the ingredients. Also, there's refined carbon. We're gonna to get to refined carbon shortly. All right. Uh, plumbing. Plumbing at this end. Can I do this end plumbing? All right. Can I do? Uh, deconstruct. I need to put in the next one of these. I need to see where your plumbing's gonna go as well. All right. Uh, I do know that that goes to probably there. Uh, this goes to here, probably, uh, and high priority, and, okay, rock crusher. Rock crusher is going to do fossil for lime forever, egg shell to lime forever, okay? That's just what the rock crusher does, that's all we ever have it do, uh, but it's going to be doing that for a very long time. This storage needs to have, um... Good question. Uh, organic. 
It needs to have eggshells. It also has to have raw mineral fossil. That's going to be two things. It's going to have, and I won't know what lime looks like until we actually crush some. Uh, you're going to do steel after I get you liquids. You don't have liquids yet on our list. Uh, you need a storage right there. You are going to do steel. Don't know what steel looks like yet. Uh, you're going to do metal ore, iron ore. You're going to do final iron output, and you're going to need power, and you're going to need power. Okay, so we got that far so far. Uh, can I... Can I move that to there? Yeah, I'm looking at trying to squeeze everything over a few tiles. All right, so you're going to do iron, <clears throat> which means my next one, which would go there, there. Uh, oops. And now we, we now have a pattern. Uh, go away. You would go there. Uh, my next one will do, I don't know, copper, let's say. And you need to output, and you're going to output into this tile. That's bad. Uh, can you output to this tile instead? Probably. Uh, can I run that to there, then to there, then to there? Can I put in a bridge like so? Uh, liquid vent right there. You only have three tiles to play with, which is worse, but doable. Uh, I really wish the disconnect tool, I could just drag over everything. It just disconnects literally every single pipe or whatever from the other one. Uh, okay, you go there... You go there, 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 that didn't help. Didn't help at all. Can I squeeze an extra tile out of that? Nope. Or your steel. Steel is very hot. So steel can have an extra pipe. You're doing iron. That's way cooler. It'll be fine. Can I... Now I've gone through all that hassle. Set it back to exactly how it was. Next one will be much the same. So you're going to go there, 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 there. Uh, then we're going to go over to Radiant Pipe out of lead. Not lead. Well, okay. Uh, Radiant Pipe out of that one and that one. Okay. So lead has a thermal conductivity of 70. Uh, you are copper, which has 120. And you are gold, which has 120. We're going to go with copper, please. And I don't know if this is going to work. It looks like it worked. Can I cancel that? Can I go there, 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 And join that to there. Uh, you can go one more tile, actually. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh... Same problem. Sure. I'll take the extra tile. Uh, copper insulated, insulated pipe. Insulated pipe. Yep. Yeah. I'll take the extra tile if I can get an extra tile. Okay. So that needs to be replaced with copper, uh, which means you uh, do not have a steam turbine in the way. Okay. Uh, we'll leave that for there for right now. Uh, we do know that that's going to come down there, and then we'll stop. All right. This. Uh, can I... Need you built. After you're built, we'll disconnect the other one. Actually, we'll disconnect the other one right now. Disconnect that. Just, you can... Okay. Great. Great job, tubes. All right. Uh... It's still not built. Tubes. Fine, we'll just overflow it with water. All right. Uh, you are running. Okay, can I get... We have lime now. Okay. Manufactured material? No. Um, consumable. Lime. So lime's going to go in there. Auto super will take care of that. Okay. You are doing iron ore. Yes. Which means you're going to do refined metal iron. You're going to do, I don't know, we'll have you do, let's say copper. 
Uh, so metal ore, copper ore, and then and then the storage container up here for actual copper copper. Uh, well, refined copper goes there. All right. Next thing we need to talk about is is this pipe. This pipe is where. I'm going to bring in petroleum. Now, the reason I'm bringing in petroleum is I need to have some sort of cooling liquid. Now, if we look at polluted water properties, uh, we can see that at 120 degrees, it's going to turn into steam. Generally, if you turn uh, a liquid into a gas inside a pipe, bad things happen. If I look at crude oil, uh, it has a vaporization point of 400 degrees. Way better. Way, way better. The catch is uh, it has a specific heat capacity of 1. point. 1.69? Yes, 1.69. Nice. Uh, whereas, if we come down here to my petroleum, it has a specific heat capacity of... Uh, 1.76. So it's a little bit higher. Also, it doesn't overheat till 538 degrees. If we get into 538 degrees in here, we have problems, but... I don't mind problems. Problems are fine. Uh, so what I need to do is, that's the output pipe. Uh, I need to build to here, here, and here. And crap. Yeah, I need to trim, 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 trim. Every little import, every little part is important sometimes. Uh, trim and trim. Okay, I need you to run in there. I need you to run in there. I need you to zigzag through here up to that tile. And same with this one. It needs to also go to there. All right, I need to fill this with coolant. And we're going to fill it with petroleum. Hence why we put in the pipe earlier to bring up petroleum. And I need to fill up each one of these. I'm gonna do that with a bridge. This is the output from the building. So I have three tiles worth of spare output. And then we're gonna fill the rest of it with, well, reasonably hot petroleum. 55 degrees, reasonably hot petroleum. Uh, the cash is with the several hundred kilograms worth of liquid I have in here already. It's not gonna make an ounce of a difference. All right, so that's the plan so far. Uh, plumbing. Disconnects, uh, deconstructs, uh, well, rebuilds, power, deconstruct that as it's instead, deconstruct that, plumbing, deconstruct that, machine, or you said to deconstruct, okay, uh, I can't build the tiles into everything else the other way, all right. So, this is where we're up to with these guys. Now, I still have more of these I'd like to put in. In fact, we're going to intentionally build that through to there and then intentionally dig out those four tiles. Uh, actually, we might leave the bottom two in so I can reach higher. Yeah, uh, we need to go further. I want to go further. I need to put in another... Well, I haven't done... So, we call your copper, right? Your copper ore. So, I still need to do a gold and a wolframite, and I think I need one more. So, I still need three more. Idol. Idol is never good. Polydecimus uh, has access to sandstone. Can you build a priority one right there? Because you're the only one who can do it, you're guaranteed to do it, and that should fix that problem and let you get out of there. Idol is bad. Idol dupes are a bad thing. Why I make sure that they have a option to sweep if they're bored. All right, so uh, that's going to get removed. Okay, the other thing I need to make steel is we need refined carbon. Now, refined carbon means I need to refine up some carbon, which means I need a refinement. I need a kiln. Kiln will let me, after it's built, uh, let me make refined carbon. But before I make refined carbon, I want to grab an auto sweeper and I want to build it here. Uh, refinement. I want a kiln. I want one, two, two's probably enough. Probably. Probably. Maybe I do one over there. No, I think I want one over there. Uh, you end here. Can I... Ideally, you're gonna go there, except I'm pretty sure you're definitely gonna have a pump thingy in the way. 
You need to go there. Can I put a kiln here and a kiln there? Okay, I have two kilns there and there. Uh, now, they're going to process up refined materials. Yeah. I don't want dupes really traveling in here to bring in materials. So, we're going to put an auto sweeper. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to put in a conveyor receptacle out of gold amalgam because I have bugger all of that left. Uh, and that raises the overheat temperature. Actually, you don't have an overheat temperature. Never mind. We can build that out of anything. Uh, shipping. Can I get a receptacle out of that? We'll do. And I want to convey a load up. That has to be made out of gold because you have an overheat temperature of 75 degrees. Adding it out of gold means plus 50, which means 125 degrees. We're going to be very close to that most of the time. Uh, all right. So you would do refined carbon. Uh, can I just give you a run of 10, please? And can I get you a run of 10 as well? All right. You're going to make steel. Uh, which needs to have, uh, as I've said before, it needs to have lime, which we're going to have in this bucket right here, this lime. Uh, it needs to have iron, iron, which is going to be in that bucket right there. It also needs to have refined carbon, which we're going to put in a bucket right here. How are we going to get into a bucket? We're going to put that there, that there, and that there with shipping. Uh, receptacle there instead. Uh, we are going to make it in the steam room because turns out burning coal and turning refined carbon is a hot process. So put it in a hot room, great idea. We're also going to ship that conveyor rails uh, directly to that tile and then drop it off right there. We're going to put in a bucket. We're going to have this auto sweeper put in a bucket, but we're going to be shipping it in and out. Uh, we also need to bring a shipment to here to put a loader. It could be made out of, well, actually, we'll keep making out of gold. Uh, I want a loader here with power to there. Uh, so that's going to do our refined carbon. On top of that, the other thing I like having a lot of is uh, ceramic. Ceramic, that's the words I'm looking for. Uh, power. Uh, can I get a, one of them? Yep, we're a little bit short on material. It's fine. Uh, you know what? Cross the roof. Put that one in there. Put that one in there. Cool. Uh, so, ceramic. When a duplicate gets their head out of the way. Ceramic requires coal, which we're going to be shipping into this receptacle. Also requires clay, which means I need another receptacle. You know what? They can all move every time. Cool. We're going to need another receptacle right beside it with one of those right beside that. That way, we're going to have another rail to go into there. And that's going to ship in clay, which we can then use to make ceramics. Uh, I'll also need to ship out my ceramic, uh, not by clicking on Xelthium. Uh, conveyor loader. Realistically, you go anywhere in this room. Uh, you know what? Why didn't I put them sideways earlier? Why did I not put them sideways earlier? Absolutely no reason whatsoever. Can I grab receptacle, put the receptacle there and there, cancel all that, uh, which means that can go there instead. Uh, I'm not gonna get close enough, I can do the whole lot with one auto sweeper. But, I can hopefully save myself a couple of tiles. Uh, if I put you there, and you are going to drop onto the floor right there. All right, power. Uh, you'll need power as well. And then, I think we're done. Except I'm gonna add in another one of those because I can. We still have more digging to do. We still have to go this way a whole lot. Uh, so you're doing copper ore. You're gonna do uh, refined metal. You're gonna do copper, copper. You need a storage bin right there. And we're getting closer and closer towards the end. Okay. So you're fine. You're full of petroleum. I can remove that bridge. You're full of petroleum. I can remove that bridge. The machines themselves are also full of petroleum. And uh, this needs to go tiles. Can I build that? No. I build that out there. Can I build that out there? And then we can just start laying in these internal tiles one at a time. Uh, these buildings are flooded, which means we're at the point where that needs to go that way and that needs to be cut off. Uh, that's too much water. We're up to 400 kilos worth of water. Yeah, we've actually displaced some of the oil. 
which was not my intention, but it's fine. Uh, okay, can I build another row of tiles, please? Uh, you guys are gonna need a ladder over here to get down. Cancel, otherwise somebody's gonna get stuck in there. You know what? Do I build left to right? I can take that out too. However I do this, it's time for Jimmy. Alright, you guys are all in. This is half in. I need to set you to allow manual use and you were gonna be coal. Uh, so that is consumable or coal. Uh, this one will be clay. It is probably seven. Good. Unreachable toilet. That's a problem. Idle. Uh, you are about to be unstuck, I hope. Yep, okay. Uh, unreachable toilet, same due. Jason, yeah, okay. You're now, you climbed over the tile for it to fall out from underneath you. You're an idiot. You're all idiots. Okay, but the biome's gone. Uh, as is that biome, which fixed our metal shortage problem. Uh, okay, you're floating. Uh, can I make you unfloat, please? Mesh tile, right there. Okay. Uh, where's this up to? So we built that in. I should be able to run that row in there. And meanwhile, from the inside, deconstruct those tiles. Can I get a nice high priority eight in there so we can get a few more tiles out of this thing? Can I make sure organic? Organic? Play? No. Uh... No. No. No, no, cultivator saw, play. That's what plays under. Uh, okay, so that gets built, that gets built. We can dig those two out. Uh, we can the speed back up to two because I'm willing about all the pathfinding issues we had in here are solved. Can I rummage and inspect? Thank you. And rummage and inspect? Thank you. And rummage and inspect? Thank you. The power wires here, there is, there is. Deconstruct that. Uh, can I put in a ladder to there? We have a brain machine, which we'll play with in the future. Can I dig down three tiles, dig up four tiles, use deconstruct buildings, get rid of all of those, all of those. I have the door two. This is made out of copper ore, and I like free materials. We can also get rid of the locker, the locker. Yep. And what are lockers made out of? Neutrality. Damn! I don't even get materials out of them. Uh, I really wish they made out of something interesting. Okay. Uh, can I build that in there? Can I build that in there? Uh, that still needs to be done. Uh, they're still flooded. But we can remove another row of tiles. And I can do this. And where are we up to? So, you need your plumbing. No, I need to put, put, put you there. You go there. If you go there, your plumbing comes from here to there with a bridge with... Like that. And I put you a zigzag. And we have you one tile there. Sure. That's how we're going to do that one. All right. Now with that plan out of the way, I think... I think... We're good. I think I'm also well out of time for this episode. It's been a longer episode, but we have this up and running. We haven't plugged in cooling yet. We have plugged in power. Well, at least to the bottom half, not to the top half yet. Uh, so they need, need to be powered. This needs to be finished off. This needs to extend it out. This needs to be dug down. We have an idle dupe who docos granite. Can I get you to build a granite ladder at priority one? right there because you are going to do that straight away yep and then you can climb your ass out please please thank you cool way happier 
much better. Uh, so we haven't lost the dupes again. Uh, I call this a successful episode. This is still being pumped dry. Uh, that can be emptied. Uh, that can be filled up in just a minute. Uh, we still need to put in uh, one, two, 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 three of these. Three of these. So we need, still need to move across a little bit. Uh, I also still need to cap this off, which we'll be all doing next episode. Meanwhile, the hatchery has three out of eight. This is zero because it's not set up. You're at six, you're at eight, you're at eight, you're at eight. So I probably need to set this one up reasonably soon. It has been swept. Excellent. Our little birthing bot is doing great. We still have uh, dupes sleeping on the floor. And as for slow hit death, well, it's slowly getting worse. Yeah. Uh, but we did access the new geyser, which is pumping out an average of two and a half kilograms per second of polluted water, which hopefully we can keep pumping out and make sure that we can keep the base alive. Once this is finished, that means that pump will do all that. And it means that next episode, we can definitely plug in the cooling loop. Whew. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. Uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you in the very next episode. Bye.